Hello and welcome back to another character creation video, or in this case character customization video. My name is Lumen and today we're back in Guild Wars 2 to have a look at everything in the Total Makeover Kit. There's a whole lot of exclusive content, I guess you could call it in here. Hairstyles, faces, color options, all sorts of nonsense. And I have been warned that it's actually way cooler than the default stuff you get when you just purchase the game. I personally play this game mostly free to play after buying the expansions and stuff like that. So I purchase the expansion, then I just play. I don't spend money on gems or anything like that. Uh, if I do ever get gems at any point, then I usually buy stuff like bag slots or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I do sometimes end up with total makeover kits. And I haven't really spent much of my time looking at this stuff. So most of this is going to be brand new to me. And they do pretty regularly update these and add stuff to them. But this is everything that's in it at the point of End of Dragons customization patch. So End of Dragons, all the new hairstyles and stuff were just released for the regular character creator. And now we're going to have a look at everything that's in here as well. So we're going to start with Char. We're going to look at male, then female. Then we'll go on with all the other races. We'll check what's new and exciting on them. I am going to be looking at the exclusive stuff only, so I won't be fiddling with the sliders too much. There's really no point. You know, I might make the eyes a little bigger so we can see the colors or whatever. But you can see all the stuff with the little stars on. That's the exclusive stuff. So there's nothing changed here. There's nothing different here. Uh, but there are things like new faces, which we will have a look at in just a moment. And obviously they will be different if you move the sliders around. So you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit there. You can look at like, I guess you could call it the default face, uh, the default new exclusive face, and you can just sort of, uh, you know, see whether you like it or not, and then you can jump in for yourself and modify it. I'm not going to fiddle around with that too much because that would make the video way too long. But all of that said, let's get started on char mail. Now, again, the other options are all sort of the same as they were before. Uh, there's no new physiques or anything like that. I don't think there's any new skin patterns. There's not even any new fur colors, which is uh, well, interesting, I guess. Uh, it would have been a little weird, I guess, if they gave us uh, something that was so crazy different. Now, I want to I wanna take something that will allow us to like really see the faces. So I think white might be a good choice. I don't know. I, I guess this is fine. It allows us to see the hair, if we make the hair black, uh, much easier. So... First we look at the styles, then I'll fiddle with the colors, because, <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of colors. Oh, holy crap, man. Look at all the stars. So, jeez. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy to, to, like, imagine this, but, like, you know, these are the default styles. This is all you have when, you, when you're not using the makeover kit, when you're actually in the character creator. You have from here, this way. Like, that's it. There it ends. There's, there's almost double as much exclusive stuff. In other words... Holy crap, you get in a lot when you buy these makeover kits. So, I'm going to leave it black for now. Uh, I do want to change the highlight, just so that we can see, like, you know, where the highlights are. Because uh, if I do this, obviously, like, you can see, if I make that blue, uh, and there's a hair with highlights in it. Let me just see, I think this one has highlights in it. Then, no, that's the accessory color. Hmm. I'm not sure, is that it? Oh, no, this is all just access. There we go. There's one. There's one. So, so basically, I'll, I'll put like a, doesn't really matter, like a, let's say a deep lilac on there. And then we'll put the top one on, on a darker color, like a black or a dark blue. And then you can at least see where the uh, highlight and, and everything is and where the accessory color is. But we'll obviously look at the colors separately. So, here we go. These are the exclusive styles. I, I kind of like this one. I don't know why. This is actually like super metal to me. Jesus, that's big hair. I dig this as well. Like, come on, man. Ah, oh, they give you such good options. Should I zoom out? Nah, looks better zoomed in. I, I, I feel like this, like, screen that they let you customize in is a little claustrophobic. Personally, I would have liked it if they took us completely, like, into the character creator where we have the full screen character creation. That would have, in my opinion, been better. But, uh, again, you can change the accessory color here. You can, you can change it to whatever you like. We'll look at the colors later. There's actually some spikes on this one. That's kind of cool. This is the one we had on before. Once again, big hair. Nice physics on there. When you run, it like sort of... It flows in the breeze. Dude, that's fantastic. Gonna have to zoom out for that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Hell yes, man. There are so many sick style. Look at this. It's got chains. 
What? You can make yourself into like a proper lion with this. Holy shit. Dude, yes. Look at the size of that hair. Oh my god, is this Goku? From Dragon Ball Z fame? Like, what are you doing with your life if you're not picking this? <laughs> Oh, hell yes, man. You can go Super Saiyan. Dude, that is the bomb. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be enjoying this as much as I am. I just think it's, like, hilarious. It's actually hilarious. So you'd, you'd pick, like, I don't know, banana milk at the bottom, and then you'd go for, like, a... a I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to do this. I don't know why, but it's, like, I'm compelled. There we go. There we go. No, not Shamrock. Oof, dude, that is sick. Okay, I mean, it's, I know it's like corny and, and cheesy as shit, but like, it's still sick. <laughs> it can be both, guys. Come on. Listen. It can be both. That is, that is really cool. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh! Dude! Nice! It's like, one of those situations where you'd be like, hey, why wear a helmet if you can, you know... Accessorize like that. Mm, okay. I'm feeling it. I, d I dig it when they start putting, like, interest. That's the end of it. Wow. Dude, uh, however, I will just, like, point out that's uh, uh, 246, 12. And then on this one, you've got 246. So 6, 12, 18. So you've got a full third more. Like, that's quite a lot. You know? Well, no, I mean, technically it's like, it's like a half mork if you're looking at the original. I'm sorry. It's like, it's a complex situation. But what I'm saying is that there's a lot more. That's basically long story short. There's a lot more. Okay. So, let's look at the colors quickly. Uh, the colors are pretty important because you, you have like a, a, a fantastically huge selection that can once again modify everything in a pretty large way. Now, what I will do is... I'm going to check the, the accessory colors out on, on these rings over here. And uh, is there a better way of doing it? Like, I could use this thing, right? Now, I don't think that this shows the color as nicely. It's got too much, like, glow, gloss, gloss, I suppose, on it. Uh, so let's rather use that thing. That thing's fine. I, I realize it's not so much, but, like, at least you can see. And now, these colors, they're not just, like, uh, you know, pulling them out of thin air. Okay, so these colors, they existed before. And I want to tell you that these are not all equal. So I say that because some of these, like as an example, I think the Electro ones maybe, they are more expensive in terms of like their dye prices. Because these are all dyes in the game, right? So all these colors and stuff here, these are actual dyes in the game right now. And like Abyss is, for instance, the, the darkest black you can get. Uh, they're all dyes in the game right now. And then here's Celestial, which is the whitest white you can get. And you can you can pick them up. You can find them. You can buy them off the auction house. Uh, trading post. Sorry. Wrong game. And they cost more or less based on, like, you know, their rarity. So so some of these you will, you will be getting, I guess, technically more value for your money out of. So your total makeover kit is going to be more valuable if you use that Abyss and that Celestial or those Electro colors or, you know, any of the colors that are more uh, valuable, more, more like, rare. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not a huge thing, obviously, but it's something to keep in mind. Okay, hair colors. Darkness. It's not quite that dark. Dude, they are so bright. Look at that. Like, if you switch to this one, look, look at that. Like, holy crap, man. You can go full anime with these colors. Hell yes. What is this even? Spring dew? I think Celestial is going to like... It's going to blow my mind. We're going to go along the top quickly and then we're going to... Amethyst. Dude, these are... These are beautiful. I'm thinking that if you like really want to be serious about your character customization... Yeah. Un unfortunately, you're going to want to at some point at least check out the customization kit. The, the makeover kit. Because, like, some of these are just... It's wow, man. It's wow. There's so many... There's so many colors. Oh, dude. Now, I'm going to go through these colors on every single race as well. I just want to mention that, so... You might you might be here for a little while. Hey, Mahogany is actually kind of sick. Yeah, dude. These ones are nice. Funny. 
Champagne. Nice. Deep Grey. There's Celestial. Dude, oh my god. That's blindingly bright. Cool. Look, look, like, come on. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. These are cool colors. These are really cool colors. Now I'm gonna... Listen, I'm gonna put something on that's not too distracting. So we'll do that. We'll put a hairstyle on that, that doesn't sort of, you know, c cover the face all that much. I, I guess, like... Yeah, that is actually a good one for that. And then we can look at the new faces. Okay. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? I'm 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 zoom I'm leaning for you can't see me, but I'm leaning forward to try and make out what this is. I can't zoom in further. I'm trying, but it doesn't allow me. Oh cute man. I, I, I'm actually curious to see whether the tilt of the muzzle and the jaw. Yeah, you see? Uh, this is only for the new end of dragon's faces. You can't open or close the mouth now. So it's, it's also important to note, for the char, you can only tilt the jaw and the muzzle open and closed on the new faces. These, these older ones, they don't allow it. Wow, man, you can get some pretty cool looking faces here. Oh, I like that one. For some reason, this one, I feel like it has soft eyes. It's like, it's a, that's a caring face. This one, not so much. No, that's a murderer. That's a killer. That one is ruthless. Interesting. Dude, what? This is so sick. Oh, this is original. Okay. Aw, this one looks sad. Nice. Okay, and then these are the base faces. Not bad, dude. Like, there's a lot of variety here. This one looks like it's smiling. Horns. No new horns. Alright. Which is fine. Honestly, they had, like, a lot of horns. So that's it. Uh, that's basically the end of it for the uh, male. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this one may... I don't know, this is just funny. I, I guess it's just funny to me. That's basically it for the male char. We're going to jump into female now and see what's new there. Uh, female. Boom. Uh, I, I, I guess I'll stick with a, with a white one. It feels a little weird using the white one. Let's just go for like a slightly... There we go. Like a grey. You know. It's just a little bit easier on the eyes. So, hairstyles. Looks the same, basically, as the male ones. Uh, and that means that, uh, for the most part, I'm just going to sort of... I want to say uh, glaze over it. I'm not going to go too hard on, on checking them all out. That's new. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. It's nice you can see quite easily uh, what the differences are. The red, you know, from the accessory color over there. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's making a statement, right? I like this one. That's that's subtle. Yet definitely satisfying. Holy shit. I dig it. Yeah, man, they really do give you a lot of cool stuff here. Okay, okay, so they're not the same. They're not the same. I, I was like, hey, they're mostly the same. They're definitely not the same. There's a lot of new stuff here. There's a lot of different stuff here. Now, also keep in mind, you could have some interesting, like, interactions between the different colors and stuff here. So, you know... When you look at it as an example, this one, you, you might, uh, no, this one, you might be able to do some, like, interesting stuff with the color combinations. I see there aren't any two-toned hairstyles here for the females, uh, but that's just something that you're going to have to fiddle with yourself to, to sort of figure out what you like and dislike. Uh, but, yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. Let's look at the female faces. Dude, that's sick. It's more like a puma face or something, you know? Okay. I, that's like, I don't know, it's got like scales on its face or something. <laughs> it's like the angry house cat face. My god. Yeah, I mean, shit. I'll leave you to it, okay? This is nice. I like the extras, you know. The tufts of hair and stuff. That's beautiful. Sleek, dude. Sleek. Texture work on that seems really good. Same for this one, actually. Also looks like a house cat face. This one, too cute man i've seen this kind of breed of cat before with the like with the like long uh, uh not so much beard but it's sort of like i don't know sideburns i guess you could call it okay and that's about it right once again these faces are drastically changed i, I don't know why how, i feel like i have to mention it but they drastically change sometimes by things like horns so you probably gonna want to like 
keep an eye on that kind of stuff when you do like first check the horns out pick the horns you like uh, you know fiddle with it make a, a combination that you think would look good and then you change the faces and the hair and stuff so you can get it all like at the same time just looking good and different stuff i forgot the eye colors i'm so sorry oh god oh god uh i'm gonna go back to the mail quickly and look at the eye colors there uh it's but it's the same on male and female i i will show you so i'm gonna take the squint uh to the one side eye size there you go that should be good lots of big bright eye colors i can't believe i forgot that pure black sick kind of great man and like the contrast is is huge if you go for like one of the brighter colors here uh, then you can like I don't know, I guess, go for a darker skin and have, like, massive contrast. So if you, like, go for neon red, as an example, and you make your, your char's fur black, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. Like, you'll have some really, or, like, bright yellow eyes, like banana or, or this one here, Desolation. Desolation, by the way, is one of the special ones that's incredibly bright, as far as I know. Cool. There you go. I, I'm going to go back quickly. I'm sorry I forgot that, uh, but... I will go back quickly and and just change the eyes on this one to see. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's the same. But for completion's sake, we will just check. Uh, just to be sure. Certain faces have bigger eyes as well. And I, I think that it's obviously uh, worthwhile to fiddle with that as well. Like, you know, if you're gonna... If you're gonna go for something... I mean, did I... No, this is not gonna matter. If you're gonna go for something like crazy and out there and, and, and loud, Forge is also one of the the fancy dies, I think, then, uh, you know, you should go for the whole hog. Don't fart around with, with um, somewhere in the middle, you know? Go all the way. There you go. I apologize for missing that. But sick, dude, sick. That looks really, really good. Like, I... I, I <sighs> yeah, I'm impressed. I'm actually super excited now for, like, Silvari as an example. Uh, but we're gonna jump into the next one now. I obviously have to uh, stop the recording quickly and, and bring up the next one. But that's Char, male and female. Alright, time for human. We start with male, then moving on to female. We're going to have a look at all the options here. Everything that's new in the total makeover kit. This hair is not helping. Let's just switch it to something that doesn't cover the face. That's kind of nice. You got the crow's feet on the sides there. The face looks a little older. Oh, shit, dude. That's cool. You see, I keep mentioning this. I keep saying Guild Wars 2 needs another tab in face details. A subsection with blemishes, freckles, scars. You know, just a few different options that you can pick. Uh, so you can sort of just make your character a little bit more interesting. You know, a little bit more unique. Man, these are all really good looking. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult to take it seriously, you know? Uh, let's choose Scarface guy. Not, there's not that many new faces. It's the same as all the others, same amount. Uh, but I don't know if they change all that much. So I'm going to set this up to, I guess, Nightshade again. And we'll just pick something like Banana over here so that we can see if there are any highlights. And we'll take it from there. Hairstyles. We'll have a look at the colors on the hair in just a moment. Okay, okay. And this one's hit Ponytail. Nice. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. A lot of, uh, I want to say, like, sort of trendy hairstyles here. A lot of styles with the, uh, the, the, the sides shaved and stuff like that. You know, like this one. I, I guess that would be considered trendy or popular nowadays. I don't know, man. I'm not, like, sort of in the know where stuff like that's considered. This is sick. I like this. I don't know. That's real punk rock. And that's real, I need to speak to the manager style. <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. So let's have a look at the colors. Now let's pick one with a lot of hair. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Dude, so bright. And like I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the char, the colors make such a big difference. But like on the human and the humanoid characters, you give up some impact from the eyes, right? Because the eyes are usually quite a lot smaller. The Asura, the Silvari, the Char all have slightly bigger eyes. You give up a little bit of impact on the eyes, but the hair really makes a difference because it stands out more. 
Look at that. That's that's like multi-toned all by itself, you know? It's kind of nice. Dude, that's really bright. Wow. That's really bright. I'm actually curious to see what Celestial is going to look like, yeah. Is there Celestial? Did I pass it? There's no... Ah, there it is. Okay. Just making sure. White smoke is cool. Celestial. Damn, dude. Yeah, like, if you want to... If you want to really make an impact, be loud... Then you're gonna go for one of those, right? So... Once again, doesn't seem like there are any hair styles here with highlights. Uh, but there are accessories and the accessory colors. Well, uh, we've looked at them before, but we'll look at them again quickly. We will do it for everyone. Uh, I'm doing this for the sake of completion and thoroughness. Uh, it's something that I think people want to see. Texture work on that thing is not great, man. Not amazing. This is probably one of the original styles that they added to here. It's okay. It's alright. It takes a while to update sometimes. I don't know why it... <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, facial hair. I don't think there's anything here. This is all the same. Uh, the one thing we still have to look at that I almost forgot about again is the eyes. I'm not going to change the shapes, uh, the sizes, because I think that carries over and it sort of makes the faces look a little weird. Uh, verdant. Lime. Frostbite green. Yeah, okay, I mean, the eyes still look good. I, I was saying, hey, they're not as impactful, and maybe they aren't, but they still look pretty good, man. They still look pretty good. Because, like, you've got this, this very human-looking face with the human skin colors and, like, the, you know, the more, the more default look, and then you throw the, like, super bright eyes on there. It, it makes a nice difference. I, I like the reds, and I like the yellows a lot. Like, these forged ones are nice, and banana is great, and neon yellow, obviously, that's like, wow. Or, or Desolation, I think that's like the brightest one by far. But, yeah, I'm a pure black kind of guy as well. I really like the pure, pure black on the eyes. There you go. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all the same. Time for female. Let us have a look-see. Dude, that's a beautiful face. Who, that looks familiar. I just don't know who it looks like. Is that like Ariana Grande or something? Maybe that's Ariana Grande. Shit, maybe this one is Ariana Grande. Or this one. I couldn't tell you, actually. I don't know what her face looks like. <laughs> These are nice faces, though. They're all beautiful. Uh, do they have anything that's slightly... There we go. Slightly different. Freckles, dude. Uh, you are now obligated to take this face. It is the nicest face. Oh, shit. Or this one. Hell yes, man. Slightly squarer jaw. Harder features and some scars. I like that. I'm taking that one. Sick. Okay, hairstyles. Uh, let's see if there are any two tones here. We'll throw some cherry on there and then we'll start. Oh, dude, these are nice styles. Uh, is this a bit bright? Let's just take a lighter color so we can actually see the head there. Okay, so there's the, there's the color. The red. Here's the color. The red. Huh. Yeah, once again, you got these hairstyles with the pieces that are shaved out. I guess that is just something that was popular when they made this. The hair physics on these characters sucks compared to the hair physics on the char. It's there, it's there, but it's just not as, like, fluid. This is nice. Wow. Oh, yeah. Pixie cut. I think I have this on one of my human characters, actually. I have two human characters, maybe. The stuff in the hair over here. So that you can change the color of. Uh, we'll go through the colors in a moment. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. You actually get armor pieces that look sort of like that. Okay, and then we're back at the start. Face details. Let's look at the eye colors. I'm going through them all. Because if you skip here, if you use the timestamps to jump here, then you might not have watched the other sections. You might not have seen the char one, you might not have seen the human male one, and because of that, you know, you, you 
kind of want to see all the options available to you. So here's all the eye color options. They're pretty nice. I do wish once again that I was in the full character creator for this. I wish that I basically had a, a better, tighter zoom on the character here and more space to work with. Uh, but it's fine. I guess it's fine. Yeah, Desolation is like, that's MVP, dude. MVP. Desolation, pure black, and Celestial. Boom, boom, boom. Those are the three that just look great. Uh, I, 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 saw, I did this in slightly the wrong order now, but it's whatever. Let's look. Like, dude, I can hear Troy Baker anyway. <laughs> I love hearing that voice, dude. That guy, he can whisper, whisper me to sleep any night and I'll be happy. Like, oof, man. What a voice. I love Troy Baker. That man. Wow. And he's in so many games. It's funny, actually, how many big names are in Guild Wars 2 and you don't even realize it. Like, you, you don't. Even some of the... Uh, Player character, that's a beautiful hair color, wow. Tangerine. Some of the player characters' voices are, are, are like pretty famous and, and well known. Really nice, man, really nice. This one's also like really cool. It's it's nice how they have the two tones like built into a single color. Uh, it, it's it's a little less flexible, I suppose, because they don't really allow you to, to customize both the tones yourself. Uh, so you lose a bit on that where that's concerned, but you get these these beautiful like mahogany is the same one I said on char was really nice. You get these beautiful uh, different shades that that obviously work well together because they've been curated to perfection uh, by the people who made this. Uh, but like it's just nice, you know, it's much nicer than the base colors. You can't like dawn that's beautiful as well. You can't really compare it. You can't. Uh, so the accessory colors. For some reason, I have to click multiple times on these to make it work. Illumination used to be MVP, uh, I think, until Desolation came out. That's Illumination over there, this yellow one. If you're looking for something uh, very bright yellow, that was the color you went to. I think, I think that was back in, like, uh, Base Guild Wars 2. And then when, I think Path of Fire must have come with Desolation. Desolation must have come with Path of Fire, sorry. I'm not trying to say that the expansion was called Desolation and that color was the main feature of the expansion. No, don't get me wrong. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Human, male and female. Not bad. Like, honesty, not bad. I like the options. Uh, the hairstyles are really cool. The faces, eh, I mean, there are a lot of samey faces, but at least they do give you some that stray from the norm a little bit. Like this one and like the one I have on this one. See, these two. Uh, they, they, they're kind of sick. Yeah, I like them. Let's move on. Next up, Norn. Starting with male, moving on to female. God, what a mountain of a man. Absolute unit. I love it. Let's get going. I'm changing the physique a little bit because that shit's distracting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Uh, no new tattoos here. Interesting. I thought that they might actually give tattoos. Uh, let me take the facial hair off completely so we can look at the faces. Now, obviously, keep in mind, some of these faces would look better with facial hair, but that's up to you. Some obviously worse. Some of them look great just the way they are. They seem to have one scarred face on basically every set of these new exclusive uh pieces like the, the humans male and female but each have a scarred face i think the chars also had some scarred faces interesting uh, and one older face that seems to be the recipe oh there's another scarred face two here ah they strayed from the norm okay the faces are all right nothing special here in the in the norm ones in my opinion they're cool they're cool good good additions i like the scars all right here oh that's cool <laughs> dude i like it. it it looks a little out of place it looks like he should wear, be wearing like a tuxedo or something, you know. Uh, let's change this. Electro Lime. Nightshade. Huh? There's an afro. Okay. I, I, I mean, I want to say they should actually put the afro on the default character creator. I don't know. I feel like that's just one of those styles that you should always have. 
Okay. This is similar to the human one. The human has sort of a, a samey kind of thing. I mean, the Norn, you know, I, I don't know. I don't want to trigger, like, the entire fan base by saying this, but they are basically just, like, humans, but much bigger, right? Bred for the cold, harsh wastelands where they grew up, you know? So they just, they, they are human, but, but not. So, like, the hairstyles would sort of be the same, you know? So I'm sorry if that, if that's actually untrue. It's just, that's how it feels to me, at least. Okay. I mean, I like this. This is cool. This is very cool. Let's have a look at the colors. Once again, going through the colors from start to finish, just in case anyone skipped here using the timestamps. It, it's an important thing to do for completion's sake, so you can see all the different colors. And I guess if you want to, you can also peek over here to see how it looks on the different hairstyles. Very nice. These, these, these two-toned ones are, they're impressive. That's what I'll say. And seaweed green is also really nice. I think my wife used that on her necromancer. I, I think it looked really nice. She had like this fantastic setup with these, uh, with these shades of green and black. Because it obviously suited the necromancer's style quite well. Uh, even more so, I think, with the new necromancer elite specialization, the poison one that they're releasing. I think it's poison related, right? I, I don't know. I don't play Necromancer. I'm sorry. I literally spend all my time on Engineer, so I don't know the other classes or specializations at all. But yeah, yeah it looks cool. It looks cool. It's what, basically what I'm saying is it looks cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna recustomize my character soon, and I'm gonna go loud with the colors. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically we're looking at the accessory color now. I'm gonna basically go crazy with with bright colors and stuff like that. Stray away a little bit from the black eyes and and bald head. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of my aesthetic right now. Is um, little creature from the dark, uh, and I don't know, man. I don't know. It's 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 maybe it's time for a change. I I know that like any Guild Wars players out there watching this right now, you're not in, right? You're not in. You saying yeah, man? Sometimes a change is good. This is Guild Wars, man. This is Guild Wars. You can't stick with the same forever. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to look at... There's no new facial hair, unfortunately. I, 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 like, I wish they would have added new facial hair. It would have been nice. Uh, we're going to look at the eyes. Oh, shit. Did I forget the eyes on the human female? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sort of a little um, confused because I'm going through so many right now. I, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Who knows? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, as I was saying before, it's like you you unfortunately have less of an impact with the eyes on, on the human characters. Like when we get to the Silvaris and the Asura, then you're going to see like bright eyes. Then you're going to see uh, this stuff really mattering. I think that uh, it, it just stands out so much more. Because especially on these, if you zoom all the way out, yeah, you can see that glowing quite brightly. But, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of small. Oh, wow. That is really bright though, right? Like, you can't even see the pupil in there. On Desolation specifically. You can't even see the pupil in there. Okay. That's it. It's not bad. I, I, I'm not too impressed by this. I think that I'm going to be impressed by the Silvari and the Asura. Probably. Probably. We'll see when we get there, I suppose. Female. Maybe I'm going to be impressed by these ones. Who knows? Let's find out. Okay. Well, I'm impressed by Freckles. Freckles always impress me. There's some makeup on this face. Makeup? No makeup. Eyes are a little bit bright. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to get there soon, I guess. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Hey, interesting. Wait, there's no scarred fa- Oh, but the scarred face is in the default roster. Okay, okay, I see. So they sort of rounded it out, rather. No old face and no scarred face, which leads me to believe that there's an old and scarred face here, right? Well, I mean, there's a scarred face, I guess. <laughs> there's at least that. Hairstyles. Let's have a look. If it's anything like World of Warcraft, they, they oftentimes bring hairstyles between races, and they obviously count that as new, you know? So, like... They'll, they'll bring a, a blood elf hairstyle over to the humans or whatever, and then they'll be like, Hey, new hairstyle! And then, you know, people still cheer for that because it is technically a new hairstyle. Uh, but, but obviously not really. Sorry, I forgot to look at the back. 
I like this one a lot. I like the feathers. You obviously get to customize the feather colors, which is kind of sick. That's long on the back as well. Oh, I'm seeing something interesting coming up here now. Look at this. That's sick. Yeah, oh, this one's nice too. Wow, that's cool. I like the the up here at the front here and the ponytails at the back. Yeah, sick. Then again, there were actually kind of, like, like there were a lot of nice ones on the non females already. Like, I, I, I like them already. Okay, eyes. I'm sorry, those eyes are actually, they were a little distracting, I think. I'm sure they didn't detract from the experience all that much. It's interesting how it saves the options between male and female. It's like you don't really get a clean slate when you switch. I mean, I, I suppose if I had to close the character customization kit here, the makeover kit, and reopen it, then it would have changed. Yeah, these eyes look good. These eyes do look good. Again, though, when you've, like, seen one, I suppose you've seen them all. So if you look at the human male or human female or non-male or non-female, then you've you've sort of, I don't know, I guess you've just seen them all. You know, you've seen all the different options that are available to you. Uh, sometimes it's worth toggling the light in as well if you want to see a different uh, sort of look. But, um, yeah, in most cases, it's the same. Let's check the hair colors out. I'm sorry, I'm a little back and forth with my, with my uh, options here. But... Uh, Again, these sort of, they're all blurring together a little bit. This is a popular one, I think, Spring Dew. I think I see it a lot. I don't know why, but it makes me, it makes me think like anime. It, it feels like a very anime color. Ooh, some of these are really nice. Like, like these specifically, like dark peach, copper... And then when we come over to the uh, the more like woody colors here, they they feel very homely and like and 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 wholesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, I like them a lot. I think they're kind of sick. This one, uh, this one's kind of nice as well. Subtle, you know. Mm, I I see these a lot as well, like the aqua and and stuff like that. cool man it's cool rich butterscotch mm, i could do with some rich butterscotch right now holy shit champagne celestial bright as ever cerulean hmm nice names all right so let's look at the accessory colors this is obviously a little different from accessory to accessory. Like, as an example, on this flower, it might look a little different than it does on the bangle thingies in the hair. I don't know what those are. Clips, the clasps, the clamps. I don't, dude, I don't know what hair things are called. The hair accessories. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the Alice band. I know what an Alice band is. There you go. Damn, Lumen knows something. It looks a little different on these than it does on those, but, you know, the, the fact remains that it... It is the color that I'm clicking on. Okay. Yeah. Nice colors. Lots of bright stuff, man. Like, lots of really bright stuff. So, we're going to move on to the next race now. I will be back in a moment. Now we have Asura. Male and female coming right up. This is... This is probably what I'm most excited for. I don't know. Uh, Silvari is like a really close second. But I think Asura and Silvari are going to be the most interesting. Because, again, they like, they're crazy and they're out there. So all the stuff that you have in here, probably going to be crazy and out there. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick peek. I'm going to leave the skin on albino. I'll leave the markings off. And we're going to get started. It looks like hair is first up. Uh, <laughs> God, are we on male or female? Okay, we're on, we're, we're on the males. I, I can see it by the pants. Sorry. God, I hate, I hate that I have to ask. That is sick. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to do what I've been doing. Or what is this? This is a nice black color. It's actually fine. And I'll put this on like Electro Lemon or... Yeah, Deep Lilac is actually fine. That's cool. Just so we can see. That's nice already. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's a little weird at the back here. I was about to say, this is kind of sick. I like this. The comb over at the front. Curly hair. Right. Okay. I have not seen like... This is something I've not really seen. Oh my god. That is so anime, dude. What color are we on right now? Are we on like a black? Yeah, we're just on black. Okay. That's so weird. What if we turn the light in? 
What what is this weird glow on it? I find it strange. Let me just fart around on a different color quickly. Do we have like abyss here? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, how about like seaweed green? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted here, but it's nice. Aha! See this one, it has its oh yeah, it's got its like own shade in here as well. Uh, where where you can basically see like certain parts of it brighter, certain parts of it darker, a few highlights here and there. It it makes the colors look a little different. That's that's cool. That's a nice it's a nice interesting style. Oh yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, they definitely are out there. This this cool stuff here. Cool stuff. Oh shit, nice ponytail, man. All right. All right. Cute, cute. Oh yeah! Hey, if I was a male, I'd use something like that. That's sort of like my real life hairstyle, actually. Oh, sick. Yeah, dude, I like this. Colorful. Oh, two-toned, finally! Aha! Interesting. Let's turn it up to Electro Lemon so we can see the differences. Oh, that is... Dude, that's badass. Reminds me of the... Undead in World of Warcraft. They have this hairstyle, right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So these guys are clearly the winners. Like, this is just... This is sick, man. These are these are cool styles. Like, these are these are different. These are out there. These are, like, busy. They, they, they have, like... They have, like, different stuff. They have variety. Like, actual variety. Like, especially if you now compare uh, the new Canthan ones that were added. Like, these ones. They, they have, like, some actual really cool, interesting, different stuff. I wonder, I wonder if the females are going to have the same stuff. I'm, I'm curious. Super curious. Uh, I keep doing this in the wrong order. But let's look at the uh, the colors quickly and let's just take it from there. So I'm not going to use this one for the colors because it seems like it might give like an, uh, a skewed look at the colors. Let's just rather look at this one because it's more basic. It has sort of a, a more set in stone color uh, variation palette or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, it's just some of them treat the colors differently, is what I'm basically saying. I'm, I'm very curious about the females now. Very curious. Currently my Asuran female, which is my main, is running a bald head. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, it, it might be time to put some hair on that head. It might be time. Even though I'm wearing a hat the whole time, I know what's under there, and that's the important part. You know, when you, whether you're wearing a hat or a helmet, who the hell cares, man? You you know that there's hair under there, or you know that there's not hair under there. So you gotta look at all the options. You gotta you gotta think to yourself, is it time? And yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Let's have a look on the female ones. I actually also like this is something I'm only mentioning now, this late in the video, but I like the fact that we get a nice listen to all the uh, racial music. Uh, we've been listening to the like starter soundtracks for the zones it's kind of cool all right where do we have that one we can look at the nice colors here yeah well that's like a really solid color no funny nonsense on this color straight up you pick the color there it is dude so for for all the different hairstyles in here and then all the different color choices that you have i'm going to say again and i say this almost every time you're going to probably want to like fart around with it a little bit and fiddle with the different options because you know some of them react differently so you, you're going to want to like basically check yeah this hairstyle and then all the different colors on it if you're interested in it and then this hairstyle and all the different colors and like you know do that for the ones that you are interested in because you will see different results like certain colors will look different on certain hairstyles and so on and so forth it's totally worth looking at all of them totally so the hair was first now it's time for the faces this is also quite a big deal i think wow look at the spiral eyes that's kind of sick oh my god that's like a scary little doll if you could open the mouth a little bit to show the teeth that would be like proper nightmare fuel oh that is cool dude a scarred face. Yeah, so the Canthan faces, the new Canthan face was also like a, a gnarly looking scarred face. But they've got another scarred face here. That's sick. I didn't know that existed. Oh, and this one has some proper markings as well. These two are like really baby-like. And this one, those eyes. Wait, is that reptilian eyes? Oh my god. Dude, this entire line here. I, I don't know why, but it freaks me out. These three, they freak me out. Holy shit. It's unnerving, but why is it unnerving? I don't know. 
Oh, this is very smooth. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I came here to be impressed. And can I tell you something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm impressed. This is really good. I'll take this one because it seems like it gives you a good, like, amount of real estate on the eyes. Uh, nothing new on the ears, but this is going to be good. Look at the size of the eyes, dude. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, man. You get, like, proper real estate with the colors that you pick in here. You get, like, a, a real oomph. Now, I'm going to pick a, a impactful color. Then I'm going to go back and just show you what it looks like on the different faces. Because you, you once again get, like, different effects. Where these guys have the, you know, the slit for a pupil. Uh, which, again, I think, I don't know if that's reptilian or snake-like. Or if it's cat-like. or I don't, Dude, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I'm bad with eyes. But... You know, you'll have a different look on all of them. Then I know one of those little chucky faces has uh, the, the round circle, which is like the bigger pupil. Uh, and, and it also messes with the colors a little bit in a different way. But yeah, man, this is nice. This is nice. Look at that. Pure black is not all that pure black. It's got this weird red tinge there. So, so like, uh, as an example, let's pick Desolation. Because I know Desolation is always like a, a, a winner. Then we look at the different faces quickly. And check how that looks. See? It's, it's quite different. Like that one, for instance, also messes with the colors. So you're going to have to look. This one, for instance, doesn't even have pupils. It's just, you know, it's crazy. It's just color. It's just color everywhere. Yeah. That's cool, man. Shit, I think people can probably make some really nice stuff with this. So let's move over to female. Let's have a look at what we got here. I'm going to change the color to something slightly more boring. Put the Electro Lemon back on so we can see the different stuff. Uh, faces. I mean, I don't know. what. Like, let's just put the eyes back on something not so bright. I mean, that's not going to help at all. Uh, here we go. Ver verdant. Like, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, hairstyles. Oh, dude, that's cool. Wait, let me change this away to something with more color. Uh... So you can, I just, I just like more, like a slightly darker so we can, there we go, there we go. So I can see the patterns on it. That's nice. That's really cool, man. That's very Asurin. You know, having the little, like, gadgets and floaty bits and bobs in your hair. Dude! That's sick. Yeah. I don't know why, it makes me think of, like, Fifth Element or, or, or maybe, maybe Star Wars? I don't know. It's a nice hairstyle. These are all kind of nice. I, I'm very curious about the faces now. They've done well. This is on mail. A few of these are on mail, actually. Ooh, check this one out. Hell yes, man. Oh, I dig this. I like these. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, man. You get to change the, the little floating... What are those? Pylons and the hair at the same time. Uh, this is cool as well. Dude, wait, do they have more hairstyles than the males? I feel like they do. This is sick. Yeah, I, th I don't know. I don't know if they do, but it looks like it. Isn't that Zoja's hairstyle? Oh, if it's not, it's kind of close. Hell yes, man. I, li I, I like this. This is my favorite one. This one. This is really nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I want to look at the faces, but let's look at the hair colors first. So Now, now this kind of messes with it. So I'm going to put this hairstyle on. Then we look at the colors. And then we're going to, like, jump between them a little bit and just... I just want to fiddle. So, I, like, a little bit. I, I haven't really been fiddling a lot with the others. I'm sort of, like, hustling through here because I don't want the video to be, like, three hours long. Uh, but I want to fiddle a little bit just to see what the, the different combinations would look like on the two-toned hair. So, so like, needless to say, uh, you can see over here, the, the two tones actually do a lot more on, on this, uh, on the Asurin females. They, they seem to be, like, much, much, much better in terms of, like, uh, variety. Yeah. Like, some of the hairstyles have, have proper highlights and stuff in. Whereas you didn't get that so much on the previous races we looked at, huh? Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know why you'd ever go for, like, a brown hairstyle on, like, this. Or, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like they are the crazy, out there, uh, techno-savvy, loud, proud race that, that's always going to have, like, crazy colors and, and weird shit in their hair and stuff like that. Uh, let's see about the accessory colors quickly. So, accessory colors. Which one has easy accessories to look at? This one. We looked at this on the males as well, so... 
this is the easiest one just to show you the colors and once i've showed you the colors we can just look quickly at the at the two-tone styles and see how they mix like i want to see if you can mix something like a an abyss black and like one of the really bright colors just to see what the, that combination looks like because that's obviously what people would go for first like what if you mix like a celestial with an abyss black or something or like electro lemon with uh okay so let's take uh what do we have as the like the the brightest color here you don't have like this celestial let's go for celestial is as, as a really bright one and then let's pick this hair oh that's nice as well look at that that is so cool man but then let's pick this one ah you see like that's nice frosted stuff there Ooh, ooh plain white is really nice as well i i, I kind of like I, I kind of wish that you could make your skin colors even brighter on the asura because that would have been like really cool uh, but i mean this is wow man oh my god yeah 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 this is gonna be so sick i can't wait i can't wait like these are these are really special as well like i really like the 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 bright with the even brighter oh and the red and white is nice oh yeah okay i like it i like it a lot huh what do you guys think Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm putting this out there already. I think Asura are probably going to be the big winners. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to be blown away by the Silvari. I am. I am. Okay, faces. Uh, let's take a hairstyle that doesn't... There we go. That's better. Uh, let's change the color to something less distracting. Faces. Oh my god, we have more. We have more Chucky doll faces. <laughs> these three. Dude, it's these three again. It's the same faces on male and female. I can't, dude. I can't. These ones, I just can't look at them. I, I won't. I won't. Oh, that's better. I like this more. I like this more. This is nicer. Oh, that one's devious. My, my favorite face actually is one of these new ones. Which one was it? Was it this one? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm undecided. I don't know about these ones. It's like I can see the appeal and I can see how someone would want to make the character look like a little doll. But like, holy shit, man! There's something about it that just like completely sets me on edge. Eye colors, I love it, dude. You know, if you can make this work, so it it takes a deft hand to be able to make. All these different colors and these combinations come together and like culminate in something that that truly works it takes a deft hand you can be good at character creation and you can be complete shit at character creation me I mean you know I do a lot of character creation videos I, I create a lot of characters I guess but I'm still somewhere like somewhere in the middle like I, I don't see myself as like fantastic at it or anything like that uh, but like you you can make something truly f fantastical with this if you know what you're doing that's insane like you can also make something truly scary like wow okay i like it i like it though like the, the asura definitely winners like you you can buy this makeover kit and you can do something magnificent uh, with your with your character something out there something crazy you know so go for it go for it and let's move on to the next one welcome to the final race we're looking at silvari male and female i'm keen <laughs> this is gonna be good this one i think is gonna be good i mean i just had a blast an absolute blast with asura uh, so silvari yeah man like i'm gonna pick something sort of uh, what do i do what do i do okay so patterns off i'm gonna pick something sort of like normal yeah yeah frost green i think i went with this last time as well it's sort of like a, a a straightforward default color that that works with almost anything frost green is good uh but like I, yeah i had a blast with the is that a pineapple <laughs> yes oh my god first one and they already delivering i love it but like yeah i had a blast with asura already so it's gonna take a little bit to like to like beat that honestly uh let's go hair color i'm gonna make it a brighter color so that we can sort of see where it uh where it shines and where it doesn't. I'm just gonna pick something like here, here, here. One of these bright yellows. Let's just take default like banana. That's cool. That's cool. That'll give us a good look at all the all the different intricacies. Hey, dude, look at that. What is that? Uh, bull rush? What are those things called? Is it bull rush? And like a pineapple head. I like it. Oh shit! And like a certain like ferns. I think these are these are dude. They went out into each of their gardens, their collected leaves and stuff. 
is this aloe vera <laughs> maybe uh, and they and they were like okay how can we use these how can, how can we how can we turn these into hairstyles um yeah okay that's kind of cool it's like an actual flower on the head there's more bulrush kind of stuff i don't know if that is what bulrush is but yeah close enough man me guessing that's close enough this is cool how, does this actually change in color it does it does nice oh yeah this is sort of like it, it, it's like I'd, I'd compare it to like the Silvari version of a mullet, where it's like uh, business in the front and party at the back, <laughs> you know? Oh, that's cool, man. That's nice. Oh wow, yeah, that's like a male, human male hairstyle. Very, very straightforward, standard, nice. Ooh, I like this one too. I like this a lot. That's kind of sick. Okay, yeah, and this this grows out of the neck as well. Cool. Wow. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, you can go like full forest mode. That's a pine cone. I'd know the pine cone anyway. My daughter loves collecting them. Shit. Uh, wisteria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like wisteria, right? <laughs> that's sick. Okay. Oh, dude, that's a nice hairstyle. Massive leaves. Ooh, ooh. Mm. We got like some, some bulbous formation at the back there. This is kind of weird because it's an uneven number of hairstyles. Uh, all the others have had even numbers. Let's pick the pine cone and we'll look at the faces with that on. It's fine. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, there's a scarred one. These are kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got like... They got some interesting faces. Look at that one. Sick, dude. What? That's the pine cone. This one fits with his hairstyle. I wonder if there are more that fit like that. Is this like sort of like a Groot face almost? That one, that one is made for this hairstyle. It just works. Look at that. You can make yourself into an actual pine cone. You can like role play as a pine cone. You fall off a tree and all you do for the rest of your gameplay is you just lie there on the ground and wait for someone to kick you around a little bit. Shit, man. That sounds incredibly immersive. Okay. Uh, let's go with the pine cone. Yeah, sure. I'll look at the colors then. Okay. Wait, no. So color... <laughs> <laughs> Colors don't work so much on the pine cone. Uh, let's take this one. That's fine. Now, Silvari have definitely got less colors than, than the other races. You can see that here. I think the, the Asura probably have the most colors. Uh, and I, again, I think it makes sense that they have the most colors. Uh, it also does make sense that Silvari have the least colors. There might even be colors that aren't uh, available here. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have Abyss. I don't know if I know. Maybe I went past Abyss already and I'm talking complete nonsense here. But like... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, basically, if they limited it a little bit, because I guess, even though this is not, like, you know, grounded in reality in any way, it kind of, it kind of looks a little weird. No, wait, it looks like it might be here. Black Sea? No, that's Nightshade and Chocolate. Okay, Truffle, Mahogany. Yeah, 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 you get, for your Pinecone RP, you're going to want to pick, like, these, these brown colors. Celestial's here. Interesting. Okay, no, 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 wait. I take back what I said. That's just presented weirdly. Uh, they just present the colors weirdly. I mean, there is no abyss, uh, but but it's, there's a lot of colors. There's a lot of colors. You don't get two-toned colors on these, but uh, it is worth noting that there, there could be a glow element to, to certain parts. So as an example, if you look at this, and this is something, again, you're going to have to explore by yourself, by the way. I'm not going to go through every single option of that, uh, but... If I put Celestial on there, you know, that does not really look Celestial. It, it basically takes the the color from the glow, and that will once again affect your, your entire style. So, uh, I changed it to white now. You can see that some of the styles look a little different, but it's not a lot, you know? Uh, it, some of them change, some of them don't. It's up to you, basically, to figure out what you like and don't like. Uh, you, can, you can do it. I, I believe in you. I truly do believe in you. Eye colors. Um, yeah. So nothing really beats Asura in terms of like the eye impact, just because of the size of those damn eyes. And and I want to point out that in my Asura creation just before this, I I did not even really max the eye size. Like I left the eye sizes on default on the faces, so <laughs> you didn't even get like the the big picture. But your eyes can once again be affected uh, in, in varying degrees by the, the face that you pick. So, 
keep that in mind. I'm curious about the female hairstyles on this. I am curious. That's it for male. We've looked at everything. Female. Zoom. I'm leaving the glow on white. So now you can maybe sort of like just use your imagination a little bit and decide what's going on. You can see there's a white glow on there. When I turn the lights off, it's much more uh, visible. Does this pulsate? Oh, it's pulsating. Look, 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 look. Okay. Important to note. It's actually glowing properly, like real glow. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at all of them separately, just so you can see. These are sort of the same as the male ones. That's cool. That's nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I would have liked it if they had given names to the hairstyles as well. I mean, they give names to the to the dyes, but not to the hairstyles. That's beautiful. Wow. Voluptuous is the word I would use. Oh. It's like a Harlequin style. Oh, shit. Is that Scarlet Briars here? That is, isn't it? Hell yes, man. Hell yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Those are roses. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Like, like already with just these three here, and like the Scarlet hairstyle just before, like, yeah, no, okay. This is good. Like, this is good. This is nice. Uh, they are the big winners. I'd say, like, already my favorites thus far are... And this is a sick style as well. I really like this. My favorites are probably the Isurin race in, in its entirety, like the whole race, uh, and and then the Silvari females. I'm looking at the glow quickly. See, the, the glow is, is once again variable. Uh, it's You can see it in different degrees on, on different parts. Like they, there, the glow is like really bright, you know, on the on the aloe. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Nice colors. Nice different colors. Let me take. Which one would like look nice with a different color? Like these. This one's fine. This one's fine. Then let's just have a look. Once again, you're going to want to also change your your glow color. Uh, because it will modify the hairstyle and the hair, well, color and consistency a little bit. So you're going to want to look at that. You're going to want to fiddle around and see what works for you. But at least you can get an idea of the colors that you can get here. So, like, it's it's kind of interesting because, like, if you pick, uh, as an example, uh, a, a brighter color, like, let's say, banana. But then you go back over here to the, uh, to the glow color and you pick a conflicting color, like green here. Then it ends up being more green or, like, a blue is also more green so it's 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 you know it's difficult I, that's why i picked white because i feel like white is is more neutral and and because of that you uh, you get a more fair and honest look at the colors it doesn't change the entirety of the color uh, but yeah it's worth considering if you if you create your own character here but these are nice these are nice uh, you can also peek over here in these previews and you can see that there are there are quite a few differences in the in the faces and the way that they present the color. Well, the hair, sorry. The hair and the way they present the color. I mean, it's kind of weird because, like, the hair and the faces together. I didn't realize I had the, <laughs> the lights off. The hair and the faces together, they sort of, they sort of gel together and they, uh, and they make the experience different every time. I'm just looking to see if it was any different. Yeah, it's mostly the same. So even with the light off, it's like mostly the same. Uh, these ones are a little bit brighter with the light off. But you get the gist of it, basically. You get the gist of it. You can make some pretty unique stuff. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I, I personally really like the these hairstyles that they have. That one's really nice. This one's really nice. That's beautiful, man. Like, wow, wow, wow. Okay, eyes. Oh, wait. Did I look at the faces? Nope. Nope. Faces. Hmm. Sort of similar to the new one that they added for End of Dragons. The Canthan one. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh, that's very slender. I like that. Wow, look at the patterns. It looks like a, a deer. Like a deer's spots and, and patterns and stuff. They sometimes have those kinds of patterns on their faces, right? There's the pinecone one. Yeah, so very similar to the male ones. Uh, less less scary and, and angry looking faces, but very similar. I like the deer one. 
Where's the deer one now? It's over here, right? That's super cute, man. Eyes. Hmm. Cool. Not too bad. I wonder if the eyes... They do, they do. I'll turn the lights off for the eyes. They glow more in the uh, in the dark. I mean, I'm not... I'm not it's not the same on all of them. Like the Asura, for instance, their eyes glow all the time. Uh, but I think with the Silvari, it's it's like the, the general idea is that at night, you tend to look cooler, you know? Because you've got your glow and you picked your glow, you like your glow, it's the one you want. But then again, like your color changes a bit at night. You know, you see like the desolation isn't quite as uh, bright and yellow. But this also might be to do with the... Uh, the face that I have. So if I let's go back and pick desolation and then pick a different face quickly and see. Oh, not this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so you can see the pupils change completely. Uh, once again, you're gonna have to sort of use your imagination, think of what different things you can do with it. Some faces have have more brightness in the eyes, some have less. It's cool. It's cool. So yeah, like in conclusion, I'd say I think that the uh, the Silvari and the Asura, as predicted, were big winners. I will say, however, I think the Char did quite well too. The Char hairstyles and stuff were kind of nice. And all in all, the total makeover kit is totally worth it. Like when it's on special or whatever, or if you perhaps get one in a birthday gift, because that's also a possibility, I think. Or if they give them away for free or, or stuff like that. Definitely check it out on your character. Have a look if there's something you'd like to change. It could be worth it. You could be like seriously impressed by all the different options and eh, maybe enthused to try something new inspired to to change your character but there you go guys thank you so much for watching we went through all the races and all the genders and everything all the different options i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to give the video a like and share it and do all that good stuff check back here soon for more let me know who you think the big winners were who the big losers were and so on and so forth once again i i said i like the Silvari and the asura Char was good too. Uh, the human, the, the humans and the norns were sort of, eh, they were so-so. But yeah, anyway, that's it. I'm done. Happy that.